Hello and welcome to Worship with Cedar United Church. My name is Erin and it's my privilege to be here with you today. It's Sunday, January 23rd, the third Sunday after Epiphany. And we are continuing this week with week three of a resource called Discover Your Gifts, Share Your Gifts that was produced by a group of United Church of Canada writers. So it's my privilege to read and teach their words with some modifications of my own. But first we just ask you to be aware of how it is with your body, your mind and your spirit to take a deep breath, to ground yourself in where you are, to know that as we turn intentionally towards God in these moments, God is already intentionally turned towards us. And so we can feel welcome here and loved and accepted just as we are. As we gather, we like to begin with an acknowledgement of our relationship with First Nations peoples. Long before my ancestors journeyed to this land, Indigenous people were here, including the Snanamo people, on whose traditional territory Cedar United Church resides. We are grateful for their stewardship of the land and for the opportunity to be in a relationship with them. We commit ourselves to walking the difficult road of reconciliation, trusting that God will be powerfully present as we seek to heal our relationships with the first peoples of this land and with creation itself. And now we light this Christ candle. <laughs> we try to light this Christ candle. As a symbol of the presence of the Holy, we trust that whenever we gather in his name, that Jesus will be among us as he has promised to be. I invite you to join with me in the call to worship. Our response to say together is, we are one body in Christ. Paul writes to the faithful in Corinth and to us, reminding us that although each of us are different people with unique gifts, we are one body in Christ. Some of us have strong arms and backs and energy for helping, and some of us have tender hearts and observant eyes and notice who needs help. We are one body in Christ. Some of us have gifts of teaching and patience, and some of us have gifts of healing and comforting. We are one body in Christ. Some of us have a passion for justice and skills for advocacy. And all of us can share our faith and love with others. We are one body in Christ. Amen. I invite you to join with me in the opening prayer. In the middle of the prayer, we'll take some moments in silence to offer anything that's personally weighing on our hearts and minds. Let us pray. Creator of all, we thank you for calling us into community to work together as one body. Comfort us in our grief that we cannot be physically together as we once were. Support us as we try to be content with connecting over the phone, through emails, and over the internet. Encourage us with the knowledge that our choices are protecting the ones we love and all the members of our communities. Holy One, you call us to bring good news to the poor and to free the oppressed. We confess that we are not always willing or able to see those among us who do not have enough, or who feel trapped, or who are treated as lesser than. Open our hearts and minds to the needs of others and help us to share our own needs with you now. Free us, loving God, from the beliefs and practices that hold us back from loving ourselves 
and loving others the way you call us to. Reveal to us daily opportunities to offer compassion and friendship and remind us that your love will never leave us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. For our first hymn this morning, we are singing a song that's not in our hymn book, but I think a lot of us are familiar with it. It's written and it'll be performed in the video by the Strathdees, Jim and Jean. And it's the spirit in me greets the spirit in you. And it's very simple. It just goes, the spirit in me greets the spirit in you. Hallelujah. God's in us and we're in God. Hallelujah. Let's sing together. <laughs> 